Howdy everyone, I'm Slack, and welcome back to the Final Fantasy Platinum demo. It's much better than the gold or the bronze demo. It's accepted everywhere. But anyway, yeah, I, I, I'm actually just gonna make a whole other episode here, right after, literally right after I left off, I hadn't even stopped playing. I, I had a sip of coke, and now I'm started up again. And so, uh, anyway, yeah, I, I, the, the sky is becoming night. Oh, the moon's out now, that's cool. That, uh, that just happened. I, I left it paused until I restarted my thing. And uh, yeah, it's, like I said, I love the uh, I love the way that they do the uh, the night sky. It's so pretty. Dusk and night are my two favorite times. It's really cool that they have it up here. Anyway, let's continue to follow our furry friend here. To the oh, okay, we don't follow our furry friend. We our furry friend follows us. Oh no, heartless! I mean, I mean, uh, bad guys. Don't be able to take them barehanded. Use this. It's dangerous to go alone. Use this. Try your new equipment on for size. Start by pressing press the blue button. And I put my stool, toy sword and my squeaky hammer. Power sleeps within you. Oh, 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 oh. no! Oh wait, different game again. Sorry. No, I'm actually, I actually really like. Uh, let's see, move, sprint, look around, roll, dodge, roll, dodge, auto block. I auto blocked. How do I lock on again? Not that button. There we go. That's auto block. Okay. Now I can do this, and then I press these buttons. Attack. And you just kind of hold down and circle. Yeah, a lot of people fr probably are like, oh man, it's just going to be like, play like Kingdom Hearts. But I'm actually excited about that. Let's do the hammer. Hammer! Hammer! Hammer? But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited uh, about Kudos if you get that reference. But I'm, actually, I'm actually really excited about it. I like the, the gameplay in Kingdom Hearts. Um, I Would you come here? Stop that! Uh, I want to kill you with the hammer. Roll towards you. And you're going to stay. Stay. There, good enemy. But anyway, yeah, I, I, I actually like Kingdom Hearts, and as much as I like, no, there's, there's no way to voice that emo emotion. Uh, as much as I actually like, um, uh, you know, the old turn-based Final Fantasies and everything, uh, I don't know, uh, like JRPGs to me really haven't come that far lately. They, they really, uh, hmm, hmm, huh, maybe this way. Reference the uh, weird creatures and. Oh, there's frogs! There's the frogs in the water. I'm scaring all the frogs. But yeah, you know, I, uh, uh, I don't know, I, uh, I, I just, to me, uh, JRPGs have kind of, de kind of declined. They've stagnated, I guess. And, 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 like, they've even, like I said, they've declined a little bit. And, like, a lot of them now, like, when I, a friend of mine, my friend that, that actually, he let me see this demo, he loves JRPGs, and he keeps playing them. And every time I watch him play them nowadays, like, they don't even animate the characters moving anymore or talking to each other. There's just, like, a big talking head anime picture that pops up, and then they read the words. And, I mean, there was somebody was playing on the PS3, and, like, they didn't even animate doors opening anymore. And I don't know, I just... To me, that's like, it's, it's, they're stuck in the past. And I, I remember playing like Final Fantasy VIII. That was actually my first Final Fantasy. And I remember playing that and I remember thinking, oh man, I cannot wait to see this in updated graphics. And I just knew it was coming. You know, one day we're going to see graphics like this, you know, only it was going to be open the way that Final Fantasy VIII was. You could go anywhere, do anything, you know, and I just, oh, I couldn't wait for it, you know. And, and I guess in a good way, Final Fantasy has like, you know, continued to have amazing graphics, like I said, and really do really good stuff. But, uh, but like most JRPGs, for the most part, have not really done much else and haven't really changed up the turn-based strategy all that much. Uh, to me, the game that went the furthest with it was Drake and, uh, not Drake and Guard, the wrong game, uh, uh, Legend of Dragoon, which if you've never played that game, it's really old now uh, by gaming standards, but go check it out, see if you can find a copy of it, play it, it's awesome. I loved Legend of Dragoon. It was, it's also by Square Enix, I think it was by Squaresoft actually, back when, back before they were Square Enix, and I, I love that game. And I hadn't played it in forever, but uh, but it did really, really good with the uh, the turn-based battle system. And just gaming in general, it was just a really fun game. Anyway, let's step on this and summon the titan. But that's not really a titan, that's more... That's probably, actually, I'm wondering if it's, uh... I don't know, it could be Leviathan. Uh, one of the Final Fantasy summons. I don't really think... Even though, like, I know that, that, that it's Carbuncle that you're running around with here, I don't think that is the uh, Leviathan there. I don't think the other, like, the giant thing in that, I don't think those are summons. Because uh, something happens here later on in the game, right at the end of the demo, actually, that makes me believe that, like, th like the, the, the Aeons, the Espers, the GS, what do you want to call them, 
the uh, the summon characters are going to be uh, more important to the story and are probably going to be gained as you go along. Follow my tail. Ready, set, jump. You're going to specifically follow his tail. So let's say goodbye to pretty dream world. It would have been nice if I could have made this all one episode, but like I said, I really didn't want to. I really didn't want to do that with just one. I didn't want to rush anything. You know, ah, what was that? It was his face all of a sudden. He just kind of appears there. Whoosh. Suddenly a boy. I forget his name. I'm so good at this. Whee! And then, yes, 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 the loading screen here. I I wonder how the loading's actually going to work in um, the new game. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't... I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I don't know if it's going to go traditional loading or if it's going to try and do something else. I actually don't know that much about the game. I, I didn't think I was going to get me a PlayStation for forever uh, because I was broke. And so I was like, well, there's no point in looking forward to the games becoming up and stuff. And then all of a sudden I was like, hey, I got enough money. I can get a used one. So, so, uh, oh, so uh, where are we supposed to go to next? I'm large now. So my voice is deep. But yeah, uh, you know, I uh, uh, now that I know that I'm having one, I need to I actually need to catch up with all the news and stuff because it's like. Like, oh boy, I can actually be interested in it again. Okay, this is the second level, and... Oh, I think you'll like these. Try throwing one. It'll be a blast. I also gained an accent because I'm large now. That's just how size works. Okay, hold circle to grab a bomb, aim with L, then launch to let, uh, then let go to launch one at your foes. And these are like your magic attacks. And, uh, hmm, I feel a little lost. You know, because Dream Worlds, you know, you can get lost in those things. But yeah, um... Or was it over there? And uh, so basically, we're in, I guess, the his his dog food, dog uh, da, da, his water bowl, his dog water bowl. Anyway, whatever he is. I mean, I know he's carbuncle, but, but you know, whatever carbuncle bowl. But yeah, uh, so pretty much, um, yeah. I noticed these are your these are your magics here, and there are some that you can unlock and find. Uh, a mysterious bomb in a bag that creates an adorable explosion. That explosion is just adorable. But seriously, I mean, uh, like, I guess, I don't know if they're eventually going to have, like, the regular magic in the game, too. Because I know that later on you can get fire stuff, and I don't think it's labeled as, like, Firaga or anything. Okay, so we did this one, we did the last one in Dusk. Uh, let's do this one in Morning, so we're going to have to change the clock here. Start the clock. I'll have to wait for it to change. Yeah, because it's going to go Sunset. Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, it's going Sunset, then it's going to go Night. Gonna go night time. And I'll, with the city, when I get to the city, I'll probably change everything here. But that's just so cool, the way it changes like that. And the way, I mean, this looks like you're inside a house at night. I think that's so neat. I mean, uh, I don't know. There's just stuff like that. I know that, like, it probably won't be that big of a feature in the main game. Or maybe it will. I don't know, actually. You know, I mean, I'm sure this is mostly for the demo, just to show off what they can do. But this is something that they can do, and that's just so cool. I, I, I'm probably going to talk about that a lot during these playthroughs. And I just, I really, really, I, I don't know, I really like this. I think, I think it's really neat that they can do this in games. So let's, let's make it morning now. We're going to gush over night in the, uh, the town. That's the, my favorite place to have at night time. I'm going to, I'm going to gush over the, these effects a lot in the game. Because, like I said, it's just really, really cool that, uh, that I can do that. Here we go. Okay, so here we are. It's morning now. Ah, oh, the blue glow of morning. Is it? Settles over the horizon. Can't use that. The plate is locked. The plate is locked. Okay, so now we can run around. And, and like I said, this is actually... I, I find this the most boring part of the demo. Uh, even though it's kind of cool. I don't know. I don't really like... I, I would much rather you like be normal size, maybe. But it's just kind of annoying to run around at this size and do all this and everything. And, of course, you could... And it's kind of slow. And it's really big. But but the but everything's really slow. But you get to be a truck. Whee! I'm a truck. Grand Theft Auto! I wonder what I'm run into the water dish. And like, I'm going, this is full speed, even in the truck. Oh, okay then. Uh, oh, I have made mistakes. I have made mistakes. Okay, so I gotta turn back, I'll go run over it again. But, yeah, I, uh, uh, I wonder if he can get tired in a dream, he's running. But yeah, that's the only thing, is like, I guess it's kind of slow and kind of boring, and like, you can't just turn into a car at will, you gotta, you know, step on that. And then you gotta slowly go over here, so slowly go to him and he'll... Ah! I mean, aha! Right up his butt. I think I found it. Stop running up my butt. The tabletop. He's talking to us about RPG experience. 
Ta-da! I mean, ta-da! Yeah, he's a guy. Remember, he has a deep voice. But yeah, you know, uh, I'm fixing to have to end this one here too. Uh, I uh, I don't want to I don't want to take up all the time doing this one. Uh, I'm probably gonna give this its own little uh, its own little level here too, just because, like I said, it, it, there's a lot I don't know that I'll have to be uh, exploring and stuff. But I'm gonna shut up. But, but I'm gonna uh, I'm basically gonna do this one. Uh, I'm gonna leave this here. This will be the last one for today. So you just have to do without me for a little while. I know it's hard, but that's what she said. But, uh, basically, yeah, I'm done for today. This is the last episode. I'll post, uh, more tomorrow. I'm gonna keep recording, and I'll just post this all in one go, and then y'all can all yell at me for everything I've missed in the game, or what I was supposed to do. And, uh, and then I'll post it up. But, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed, and, uh, let me know. Like and subscribe if you liked it or want to subscribe. And, uh, you know, it helps me, uh, liking helps me understand what, what content y'all want to see, what y'all don't. Of course, leave comments. I, I love comments, and uh, and I'd like to be able to, to talk with y'all about everything and just discuss the videos and what I've done and what I've done wrong, what I've done right, what y'all enjoy. I, I love talking to people. So, uh, so comment, comment, comment. Leave lots of comments, and uh, I'll respond to them as much as I can and everything. I've got a Twitter set up now, so uh, hopefully these will all be showing up on my Twitter. Y'all can follow me there and be bored with me on a different platform altogether. But I hope y'all have enjoyed this. I'll be making uh, more videos later. And uh, let me know if you like the No Man's Sky playthroughs, too. I might do those some more, too. Uh, and then once I get more games, I'll be able to do, hopefully, more stuff. And hopefully expand my channel and do more. But that's it for today. And I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Bye.